Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so uh, this will be a Aquarius uh, Sun, Moon and Rising <clears throat> monthly tarot reading for a June 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the cards. And we'll jump straight into, uh, into the spread. there <clears throat> all right so uh the first card which is marking the topic of june for uh, aquarius is, this is going to be uh the emperor card followed by the second one which represents the um <clears throat> peripheral activities that you Aquariuses can go for, you know, things that you can, uh, you know, add to uh, your environment and to your daily routine, should you find them appealing or not, that is entirely up to you, very situational and conditional card. Uh, the third one is going to be regarding the challenges that you will have to face throughout the month, that is going to be the Sun card. The uh, fourth one here, that represents the positive aspect of uh, the month. <clears throat> Or what is gonna make you um, happy, or rather, like you know, what 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 will help you throughout the month? And the last one uh, that we do have is going to be the uh, guidance that Taro has for you, and that will be uh, the Two of Swords. So once again, uh, we do have the Emperor standing as a um, general topic of the month. Afterwards, we do have the peripheral activities here that will be the Four of Pentacles. Third one uh, is the Sun card, which represents the challenges. Uh, the fourth one representing the positive aspect of the month. This is going to be the Seven of Wands. And the last one, which is the guidance here, that will be the Two of Swords. All right, so uh, Aquarius is uh, that month. It is a, um, I don't know how to describe it really. It's more like a, um, a month of uh, establishing a security into one's life, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, that is. So the way that I want to present it to you, it's like um, that you made some sort of an achievement recently, all right? But that, but just making on that achievement isn't enough. But now, throughout the month of June, you will have to do what it's needed in order to secure on that achievement. Otherwise, that achievement is going to deteriorate. So throughout this month, at best, best thing that you can do rather or what the month is going to demand on you is to focus on what you already have rather than to, rather than striving for an additional growth so uh the first card which represents the topic itself that is to be the emperor and the emperor points that you will have to present yourself rather very reliable or the situation itself is going to demand from you to represent yourself very uh, re uh, quite reliable and consistent that is which on its own it does speaks that you will have to further try to consolidate on your relationship you know further stabilize your projects at your uh, job further stabilize your position at your job and so on and so forth instead of seeking for example for 
and new enterprises regarding relationships instead of, instead, instead of seeking new projects into your career or maybe instead of seeking a, a new job. Now, the emperor points that uh, through consistency and establishing structure in your life or in those endeavors that I spoke of um, <clears throat> just a minute ago, uh, then you are going to make the, the um, every day ups and downs much more bearable and additionally to it, um, it's kind of like you will start feeling more freedom. It's kind of like you do have more control over your life and over your things in addition. The accompanied card here, that will be the Tree of Cups, the formation, it is a active enemies. So... <clears throat> As an active enemy to the uh, to the emperor, the three of cups it does point that um, uh, first of all none can help you with those um, <clears throat> with those endeavors, and you alone have to uh, reach to let's say a success into those uh, achievements, either career wise or either relationship wise. Additionally to that, um, how can I describe it with uh, with these cards? The 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 results are not gonna come uh, are not gonna come around straight away or immediately. So this is this ain't going to be a, a conquest for over a night for you. This consolidation and this in this stability, but rather it looks like that you will have to work over it for the entirety of the month and most likely just at the end of the month you will say, "Oh my God, I I just made it!" All right. So. <clears throat> The, the point here is Aquarius is, is that you should not be discouraged, guys, just because, you know, you don't see results immediately after you, you know, start consolidating or securing upon your positions. Uh, the second card, which represents the peripheral activities, that is to be the Four of Pentacles. And it is very similar to the Emperor, but it does regard more unsubstantial things or things which are lacking substantiality in regards to your well-being. Uh, <clears throat> so to me, looking at this uh, follow-up, the Four of Pentacles only serves to a an additional responsibilities that you will mo that you would most likely don't need for throughout uh, the month. But should you find yourself uh, that you do have a free time and you have no problem to attend to those additional responsibilities, that will help you to establish and to define even more correctly or kind of like even more strongly, you know, your comfort zone. And additionally to that, it seems that you will be able to establish a more, more secure future for yourself. But once again, completely situational card. If you are finding yourself overburdened, you shouldn't... Um, Feel yourself obliged, you know, to um, involve yourself with those peripheral activities. The accompanied card here, that will be the uh, Eight of uh, eight of Wands. And the formation it is a, a passive neutrals. And what the Eight of Wands preaches in this case is that, oh, it's, a, it's within your hands. But in the same time, those things aren't going to go away, all right? Those peripheral activities ain't going to go away. Just for example, uh, if I have to give you one is that... Um, <clears throat> let's say that you're working on your marriage and you do realize that yeah you have established a good milestone there but further that milestone needs to be uh, needs to be secured on and therefore you know you give more attention to your marriage but in the same time there are friends of yours who are asking you to go out on cinema you know on a party for example which are which is forming the peripheral activity here through which should you incorporate yourself in it that means that you're gonna threaten your friendship and whatever happens in your marriage you can always find solace in that friendship however with the eight of wands here it means that these activities are not going to go away even if you turn out if you, even if you turn down excuse me an invitation for cinema these people will continue on inviting you into a cinema even in the month afterwards so what i'm trying to say here is that you will have to focus yourself on what is substantial for your well-being moving on forward into the future meaning that you need to present yourself like i said reliable and responsible as well toward this that uh, which matters the most for you so the challenges that will be the sun card and as i said at the start is that you um should rather focus on what you already have and aim to secure it instead of um turning your turning your glance upon newness all right this is what the sun card here represents is that you will find it difficult not to glance upon new conquests 
because the sun represents an, an expanding energy so far i would say growth all right but right now you don't need growth you need a stability at least according to these cards right now you need to um you need to secure your positions and after those positions are secured rock solid then you can go for even further growth upon them um the sun card also represents uh, um how can i display it a peaceful communications and relationship and as this card comes as a challenge you may expect that some people are gonna um are gonna really uh, scrape down your nerves and they're gonna be i can't say hostile but a little bit more ha harsh than usual and maybe a little bit more bruisey as well than usual how you can overcome that well simply do not pay attention to their aggression the accompanied card that is to be the Eight of uh, Cups deformation here, it is their active enemies. And what the Eight of Cups here represents is that you don't, um, additionally to the, to the Sun card, is that uh, you can, how can I, how can I describe it? So you, should you work upon your already current achievements, you know, you can extract even bigger benefits from them. That is what the Eight of Cups here, uh, uh, in addition to the Sun card means. And, uh, on top of it, it does uh, point to um, that these new perspectives that you're having your glance upon, all right, they will be also presented to you uh, in the next month, in the month after, all right. So uh, the, the window of opportunity for you to establish the growth that you so much want, but as I said, this month, this month of June, it is not the time where you go for. Uh, it's not gonna close for you throughout the month of June. So as soon as you um, situate yourself and consolidate your positions, afterwards, you know you can uh, now start thinking of how you can expand on them. So uh, the next card that we do have for you, Aquarius, is this is to be the Seven of Wands, and Seven of Wands represents the positivity out of the month. So uh, a couple of things is what the card represents. It represents that you will have that uh, strength to um, withstand a, a tempt temptation, excuse me, and as well, you will have the strength to withstand, um, it's not a competition, I'm trying to find the right word here, guys. Uh, just bear with me a second so uh yeah a, a test which is outworthy all right so <clears throat> a test from a peripheral activities just like i spoke for the four of pentacles and the eight of wands additionally to that with the seven of wands you throughout the month you will have that acute sense what need is what what is needed to be done when is needed to be done so it does look like that you're going to seize the right moments always for throughout the month of june in order to like i said stand to stand and solidify your position because the man here is solidifying its position despite what everybody else uh, thinks despite what everybody else wants for example and despite as well what the situation or rather like the circumstances are so this month you withstand your positions instead of expanding on it i i just can't stress you enough how important that is the accompanied card here this is to be the um five of swords the formation it is a uh, active uh, friends and what the five of swords uh, points is that um one thing as a shade to the seven of wands points that you are going to very well know you know what you are capable of and what you are not capable of and therefore whatever plans you do or whatever actions you take on they are going to be an actions in such a fashion made that no battle can be lost so you're going to be the true warrior for throughout the month you know because the uh <clears throat> The brave warrior fights every battle and dies young. The true warrior chooses carefully their battles, all right? And chooses only those battles that the warrior is assured that will win 100% secure and therefore it, it is always a winning. Um, it's always a game of winning. So that being said, it is highly unlikely that you are going to suffer failure. That is because this acute sense of what needs to, what is needed to be done and when is needed to be done is going to kick in. You know, and you're definitely gonna know what 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 you have to do in order to position yourself in the best possible way on the chessboard. If I may express myself that way. And so the last one, uh, it is the guidance here. 
and that will be the two of swords so the two of swords uh, it's asking you Aquarius to maintain a passiveness to maintain an equilibrium for throughout the months meaning that before you really decide what to do in whatever situation you are facing either a career a relationship or a personal one you need to always consider all points of view and uh, as long as and as soon as you make your decision that decision should not uh, how can i display should not be black or white meaning that you should not um meaning that throughout your decision no enemy should be produced to you if your decision or your action is producing an enemy then that is a the wrong decision or the wrong action that is uh the accompanied card of the two of swords that will be uh, the um judgment and the formation here it is a um <clears throat> active uh, friends and so the judgment adds quite a lot of meaning to the two of swords now the guidance here oh, uh, now that i roll back the reading as this reading really speaks for reconciliation, like consolidating positions, you know? So you do had a successful relationship, for example, back in the days, but something happened, all right? And you feel that the thing it is not over yet, or you, you still have what to get from it. And throughout this month, you get the chance to consolidate on those positions, to secure on those positions and to make a reconciliation. Because these couple of cards as a guidance are pointing that some sort of a matter that you do have in your in your life or in your environment is not over yet. It is yet to be decided. That could be in regards to your career or in regards to your relationship. It does depend, you know, what kind of situation you're finding yourself at. But yeah, these couple of cards are asking you not to be biased about a certain outcome because this isn't an outcome and it is yet to be decided it very well could regard to reconciliation of a relationship it could regard you know to uh getting a position that you have been denied or a job that you have been denied as well or simply you know overcoming against a, 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 all odds a certain endeavor which will like i said secure your position uh which you haven't believed that you can consolidate so that being said, Aquarius, this was your uh, Monte Tower reading for June 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other next time. Till then, bye.